Okay, so here's our little garden today. These are the grocery store potatoes that we had extra. And some of them are over the top. We added a bunch of dirt today, tried to cover them up barely. And so we'll see how that works. Um, these are my orange peppers. There should only be maybe four or five at the most in here. There's way too many. Three would probably be good in there, but emptied that basket, emptied that basket. We'll probably add something else in there. Uh, these are bell peppers. I think I have like six or seven in here. Way too many. I'm not sure what to do with them. Hopefully one of my neighbors needs some little seedlings or something. Has some little Roma tomato plants in here. And I need to get them out because I have too many. Um, this is bok choy. I still have room to plant that over there. That's my butternut squash. Not sure what to do with that. That one I got emptied. Uh, tomatoes. We moved 110 tomato plants. And then I still have this many left. <laughs> and I only need three or four in here. But as you can see, I have way too many. And this is cantaloupe. So I have too many, obviously, in here. Hopefully I can get rid of them somehow. Um, and the rest is pretty good. And then I'll show you what we did up here. My husband did the uh, pallet jacks. And we put string over it for the square foot gardening. But we're hoping it helps also keep the bird out, birds out. But it's for the square foot gardening. So let's see. Right here. We move the tomatoes, and you're only supposed to put one tomato per square foot, but we cheated. And we put two at like an angle so we could line them up. And we, there's a hundred tomato plants in here. <laughs> and then up here we have the mesclin, which is supposed to be nine per square foot and it doesn't have to be very deep on the soil so hopefully that works out pretty good and this one I haven't done yet we haven't moved the bok choy yet it's gonna go here I don't know if I have room left for anything after that but if I do I'd like to plant something different so I have a couple things I haven't planted that I wanted to plant we moved the uh, cucumbers right here this is, I don't know if you can see. So, and then we have peppers here. And they're supposed to be one per square foot. And the cucumbers are supposed to be one per square foot, but we cheated. And put two per square foot. So, and then we have Rom, Roma tomatoes here. And they're supposed to be one per square foot, but we put two. Because I saw somebody growing two and 12 inch containers on the internet so we're gonna try it in here we put some honeydew melon seeds out of a honeydew we ate and then some cantaloupe that we had planted over there from actual packet seeds we moved over here and then we have mescaline here i don't know if you can see it they're tiny probably the mescaline can be nine for each one. The cantaloupe's supposed to be one per square foot, but we have two. And then we have bok choy as well. And the bok choy is supposed to be four per square foot. And I think I just kind of threw it in there before, and it, we put it in there before we put the string up. <clears throat> so, and this is the lettuce. And if it was head lettuce, it's only supposed to be four per square foot, but this is turnips right here, sorry. And I don't remember. I think the turnips are nine per square foot. And so we just kind of packed them in a little bit too much. You can see the lettuce we packed in a little bit too much, and it's supposed to be, this kind of lettuce is supposed to be every two inches. Every, maybe it's every three inches. It's a little close. We'll see how it does. But this is our little string garden so far. And we're going to have a lot extra. I have a pressure canner. and we, I don't know if you can water best can. I'll have to look it up. But we're going to have a lot of tomatoes.
So hopefully the neighbors like tomatoes too. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not real good with making videos, and these are my green beans, but this is what we have, so I thought I would share it with y'all. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.